welcome back to my channel. So today is a first for me. I have never filmed a video like this, but I am going to film a car clean out. And if you guys are new to my channel or haven't been watching my last few vlogs, we are actually about to take a seven hour trip to North Carolina. So obviously the car needs to be clean and I just woke up, got a shower, and wanna get out there before it gets too hot. Um, to get cleaning the car out so I'm probably gonna end up putting my hair up and I don't really know what it looks like I know that all the car seats are out I have a one three and four year old right now and they uh, like just make disastrous mess everywhere we go so I'm sure there's like trash on the floor and that sort of thing the other thing too is if you watch my cleaning videos normally I do use a cordless vacuum in the house but we have our old vacuum cleaner the brush roll part on the bottom doesn't work but the hose works so we keep it out in the garage and we use it to clean out our vehicles so you'll see me using that it's not exactly the prettiest looking thing but it does the job, it does a great job. Um, so, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys out there. The other thing too is on our way down, we'll probably hit a um, car wash, so I'm not gonna worry about the outside. And I'm just gonna tackle the inside and get it as clean as I possibly can. Some of the carpeting in the bottom I know has some stains in it, but um, at least it fits really clean and we don't feel like we're riding in a dirty vehicle for seven hours. All right, so as you can see, everything was pretty cruddy. Um, I, I don't know, just one trip to town to get groceries and stopping to grab lunch can cause quite a mess. And especially if they wanna bring along any little gadgets and toys and things like that. So um, the first thing that I did is I went ahead and just collected any trash and all of this stuff you guys are seeing a good bit of real life. There's some french fries, all of that. Also, this day was so stinky hot like my face as I was editing this I could see it was getting like redder and redder and redder throughout doing this because it got so hot I should have gotten up earlier in the morning to do it but it had to be done before we headed out for our trip so I just dug in and got started So I cleaned out the center console, the glove compartment, just kind of like making sure there wasn't junk or just pens all over the place or whatnot, things that needed to go back into the house because we didn't want to take anything extra with us than what we had to. Um, and then I just started with my vacuum cleaner. That is my best friend when it comes to cleaning the car out. And I pulled the mats out. I didn't film me doing it, but I did take them in the house and scrub them with a scrub brush in our laundry room sink just to get them really clean and you know if there had ever been any spills in the last little while um, just making sure that it was all cleaned out and not sticky or like food stuck to anything um, I love that how about having mats in the car at some point I would love to get the rubber mats because I do feel like they are a lot easier to clean than the cloth or the carpeted ones um, but yeah so I pulled all of those out and vacuumed underneath of them By the way, I will admit that this vacuum cleaner is pretty bomb. If I can find it on Amazon, I will if you want a corded vacuum cleaner. Um, and in fact, we this thing we've had for quite a few years. And um, if at the time when it broke, I just did not call Shark. It's a Shark vacuum cleaner. Um, but I could have and it would have been in warranty. I just ended up getting a cordless because there was a great um, deal and whatnot. So. Uh, but I would highly suggest this one. It has amazing suction. It just the brush roll stopped working for some reason at one point. And Shark also has really good customer service. So that's why I highly recommend going with them. And after about 10 years 
of doing housekeeping for other people. Um, I have found that Shark is the best vacuum cleaner that I've like ever used out of all of the different ones, even Dyson. I personally feel like they really beat Dyson. <laughs> So I got cleaning the back floor here and realized that I needed to move the seats forward because there was so much stuff underneath of the seats and I'm so glad I did and like didn't realize it and then you know later on on our trip something rolled underneath of one of the seats and you know had a really big mess under there. So I moved them forward when I was doing the back part and then I moved them back when I was doing the front part and just to get every little crevice and area that I could. We live on a dirt lane or a gravel lane and so there's so much dirt and stones that get in the bottom of our car constantly just from our shoes and climbing in and out. So that is something that I have to keep up with vacuuming this a lot. Next I got a bucket of water. I don't even know if you guys can see it in this video but um, I just filled my spin bucket up with water and then I think I used a Caldrea cleaner just because it had a really good smell and obviously I wanted the car to smell good. Um, so I just made up soapy water with a rag. It's just better. I do better with this than having a spray bottle because I feel like sometimes a spray bottle, especially when it's hot out, the spray dries really fast and so um, you have like these spray marks all over your dash and it doesn't really get everything super clean. So hot water and soap of some kind. I sometimes will even put dish soap in just because dish soap cuts grease. And so if you have anything in your car that's oily or greasy, um, it wipes up really easily with dish soap. <laughs> Um, another thing I was doing is washing the car door part like you can see there on the bottom it's like the same paint as the exterior but when you go through a car wash or even just use the like handheld car wash um, you can't really spray it out so I was washing that down as well so just making sure that we got all of the uh, cracks and crannies <laughs> everything washed up Anyways, you guys, I hope that you follow along with our little journey to North Carolina. I don't know how much filming I'll be doing, but I'm sure I'll be doing some. And if you guys are new to my channel, we have been considering moving to North Carolina from the state of Pennsylvania. And that's the trip that we are headed out to just kind of go check it out, the area that we're looking into. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to join my channel. We try to do positive things and encourage and uplift here. So um, I hope that you enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video.